Cody back here again with another Vinyl Finds video, and it's, you know, been uh, about two or three weeks since the last update I've done, but you know, I've been still finding a lot of good stuff in the uh, collection that I've uh, mentioned in the previous two or three videos, and uh, this is really no exception. Uh, still, uh, probably about five or six, maybe more, things that I pulled out in the last three weeks out of there, and uh, still some really good stuff some more really good stuff more than likely coming in and i am actually really excited uh every week there's like uh finding treasure um and there's a lot of good stuff i mean i am really looking forward to it uh it seems like they'll be doing it through the rest of the year at least so uh definitely we'll be uh digging through it some more and uh but uh going right into it they're kind of just sh showing off these things that i did pull out of this uh, collection at the Vinyl Rescue Project here in uh, Greenwood, Indiana um, in the last three weeks. The first thing I'm going to show is a widespread panic uh, Jack Asshole Lantern. It uh, came out in 2004. Uh, this copy is out of 5,000. Um, th the number I have is actually pretty high. It's like 4,500 something, but a uh, really solid album from Widespread Panic. It's uh, a collection of live covers that I did uh, around Halloween time, which is kind of fitting as it's uh, October now, but uh, really stellar stuff on here. They do a great cover of Sweet Leaf, uh, Sympathy for the Devil, um, Peace Frog, a uh, really cool cover of Godzilla from the Blue Oyster Cult, but a really st solid album from Widespread Panic, and uh, one that was pretty, pretty ecstatic to actually find in there. Then another one I pulled out is Steve Stevens' first solo album, Atomic Playboys. And this is, you know, a really stellar album from Steve Stevens. Of course, Steve Stevens, uh, more known uh, for playing with Billy Idol and uh, doing stuff with Billy Idol. But uh, his solo stuff is, you know, really, really good. And uh, this is a really solid album. Um, really enjoy the uh, title track, too. It's a, just a great way to kick off the album. But uh, I'm really happy to pull that one out. And uh, it's a, actually a promo copy, too. Another one I pulled out is uh, Tenderloin. It's uh, their self-titled album. It's, I think there's, it's actually their third and uh, final album that they've actually ever released. And I think it's the only album they've actually ever put out on vinyl. Um, this one came out in 1997. And it's kind of like a blues blues rock album. Not not too not too terrible at all, but uh, you know, a decent little listen. It was very inexpensive, but uh, definitely worth checking out uh, and just searching them and listening to some of their stuff. But uh, Glad to pick that one up. Then I also added some more 90s Iggy Pop to the collection. This is Naughty Little Dog, Naughty Little Doggy, um, original 1996 um, copy. I don't think they've actually ever reissued this album either. Um, so definitely really uh, static to find some 90s Iggy Pop uh, in the uh, collection. Because I don't, I never honestly have came across uh, 90s Iggy Pop. But uh, definitely is super stoked uh, to have this one. And then just a really, uh, really great album from Iggy Pop. And then uh, this is an album I was really, really happy to, uh, to find out in that collection. It's Sabotage uh, Gutter Ballet. I have been looking for this album for several, several years now and finally came across it. And this one is a, a original 1989. I think this is a French pressing. But uh, it's just a solid album from the first song to the last song. Um, and of course, the title track, Gutter Ballet, is a great song. If you, they played a lot on Ozzy's Boneyard on uh, Sirius XM as well. But uh, just a stellar album from Sabotage. And the one that I was super happy uh, to pull out of there. It's uh, definitely a, a big uh, check off the want list on that one. And then I also did pick up uh, Saxon. This is their first album. Um, and this is a uh, French pressing. Um, still in the shrink wrap. And this one was actually in the uh, the dollar bin. There's a, a few little marks on the uh, vinyl. As you can see, like right, right there, if you can see it, there's a few little marks that uh, doesn't look like it, it will come off. But, uh, you know, I played, played this album and... Uh, it really doesn't sound bad at all. And uh, 
maybe a little pops and clicks on the first track, but overall, a uh, pretty solid um, condition for only a dollar. And uh, if it didn't play good, I would have probably just hung up the cover up because that, that cover art is actually really, really cool looking. But uh, definitely uh, glad to add that Saxon's first album in the uh, collection. And then I also did uh, pick up a few Oasis albums out of the uh, collection. This is an original 1997 copy of Be Here Now. Um, and I also did pick up an original 2005 copy of Don't Believe the Truth from Oasis. So definitely uh, super happy to pick up both of those albums out, out of the collection. I've uh, really been able to track down a lot of original Oasis albums from this collection. Um, and Oasis is one of those bands I never really, really wanted to, to get the reissues because uh, I always wanted the original copies and to be able to just track them all down within the last, I don't know, three months, um, at least a lot of them down in the last three months has been uh, very awesome and definitely, um, definitely glad to pick them up. These are both great albums. Um, I feel like the, this album is honestly really, really up. It's up there with probably one of my favorite Oasis albums, and I don't feel like I always read the, like the guys from Oasis like really don't like this album that much, but uh, it's really, really, really good. Definitely one that I will be uh, listening to uh, several times, but uh, super happy uh, to, to pick up more Oasis out of the collection, but that is all the stuff that I've actually grabbed within the last three weeks or so from, from that collection, and definitely looking forward to... Uh, grabbing some more stuff in the months to come, but uh, I also did pick up this album from the uh, Vinyl Rescue Project too a couple weeks ago. It's Collective Soul's newest album, uh, Blood. came out a couple months ago. Um, it was actually the first time I seen it on vinyl, so I think the vinyl might have came out a little bit after the CD, but uh, definitely glad to add that one. Um, and uh, Right As Rain is actually a uh, really uh, kind of reminds me of like an older Collective Soul song, but uh, nonetheless, really uh, really a solid album from Collective Soul. But that is all the stuff uh, in total that I grabbed from the Vinyl Rescue Project in the last three weeks or so. And then I also did go see uh, Crash Test Dummies. I have a few uh, songs up on here that I uploaded um, a couple weeks ago from that show. So definitely check those out if you haven't. Uh, just an amazing concert. I uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, just an awesome experience. I was like front row and so uh, definitely it was really cool to be that close to the Crash Test Dummies and it was just a tremendous show um, but there was a few reissues that I was happy to be able to grab and that's uh, The Ghost That Haunt Me and uh, God Shuffled His Feet. Um, both albums I've been wanting to get on vinyl for a while and uh, the reissue of this one actually just came out like I want to say maybe two or three months ago and uh, couldn't find it in any stores anywhere. And uh, I knew I was gonna see them. Uh, so I figured they were probably gonna have it at the uh, Burnt stand. And I was able to get both of them there. And I was actually able to meet the band as well. So both of them are autographed um, by all four members of the band. And it was just really cool being able to meet them. Just really nice guys and, and girl. But uh, definitely, uh, and these, uh, they actually sound really, really great too. Great pressings of both of these albums. But uh, definitely one of my favorite shows I've gone to uh, this year. It's a lot of fun. Um, and another album I picked up. Um, this is, I picked this, I actually bought this up. I bought this on Dave Matthews' website. It's Dave Matthews Band Live from First, First Union Center, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, November 30th. 1998 and these DMB live sets are just stellar pressings. Um, I love the artwork. It's just like kind of in this cardboard box and uh, it's kind of uh, convenient and this is a 5 LP set. I think it was like $50 uh, so very affordable. Um, definitely a great set list. I mean the 1998 tour uh, just some great shows and uh, this is uh, definitely up there. I mean, opening up with the last stop um, just a really um, great set list if you can see it on there but uh, definitely had to pick that up when it became available I think it was first released at the Gorge uh, Gorge weekend and um, and then they put it on the website about a month or so uh, later I actually just got this about a week ago now uh, I haven't been able to listen to the entire thing yet but I've listened to like the first two uh, LPs and 
Man, it, it sounds really, really good, and I cannot wait to uh, listen to the rest of it. And the uh, last thing I'm going to show here is the Soundgarden Live from the Artist Den. Uh, finally got it in. I pre-ordered this back in May. Uh, originally supposed to come out in July. Um, they had some problem with the uh, pressing of the collared vinyl, so the collared one got uh, pushed back to September, and I finally got it. I actually got this like two days after I did the last Vinyl Finds video, so um, it did come out when they said it was going to, and it, you know, once I actually shipped it, it got it like a day or two later, but uh, I mean, this set sounds absolutely amazing, um, and I'm really glad I waited to get the, uh, the collared one. Um, each LP is uh, distinctively collared. I'll try to show them as quick as possible. But, uh, you know, it's really uh, just awesome sounding. Probably one of the best uh, live albums, uh, at least uh, up there with one of the best live sounding albums that I have um, heard. So, uh, just a really amazing set. And, uh, definitely glad I, uh, waited for the, uh, colored one. Um, I was definitely tipped in on, on ordering the black vinyl one. If I, honestly, if I had seen the black, the standard black vinyl one in the store, I would have probably grabbed it. But, uh, kind of glad I waited because I really don't need two copies. But, um, super awesome album. Great set list. Um, concert that they did in, like, 2011. But uh, that is all the uh, vinyl finds that I have uh, this time around. Uh, definitely uh, some found uh, some, a lot of stuff that I was able to check off the uh, old want list. But uh, definitely looking forward to grabbing some more stuff from the collection. Of course, the uh, record store day list uh, was just released about a week ago. And uh, a lot of stuff on there that i um, really anticipating uh the pearl jam mtv unplugged is a uh, one that i'm definitely after and the uh, dave matthews band live at the hollywood bowl those are my two uh main ones um but uh, kind of crazy to think that record store day is only about a month and a half away um this whole year is going by pretty quick but i do have a couple more uh concerts that i'm attending um going to be going to see william duvall you know of alice in chains uh november 2nd and uh his new solo album, uh, which I don't have on vinyl yet, I'll probably actually purchase it at the show. Uh, what I've heard does sound really, really good. Um, and I have just got tickets to see Art Alexakis from uh, Everclear. He's doing a solo show here in December. so uh, And he just had a solo album uh, that come out that I'm hoping to be able to find in the weeks to come, but I've not been, not been able to track it down uh, thus far. It just came out on Friday, though, I think. So hopefully I'll be able to pick it up but uh anyway thanks again guys for watching i hope everyone has a uh, great day and uh thanks for watching